Brought to you by wikivd.com Redstone Arsenal Redstone Arsenal is a United States Army post and a census-designated place adjacent to Huntsville in Madison County, Alabama, United States, and is part of the Huntsville-Decatur combined statistical area. The arsenal is a garrison for a number of tenants including the United States Army Materiel Command, Army's Aviation and Missile Command, the Missile Defense Agency of the Department of Defense, and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Many of these units are moving due to decisions by the Defense Space Realignment and Closure Commission. The Redstone Arsenal CDP had a population of 1946 as of the 2010 census. The base contains a government and contractor workforce that averages 36,000 to 40,000 personnel daily. Originally a chemical weapons manufacturing facility for World War II, in the immediate post-war era it became home to the German rocket scientists that were brought to the U.S. as part of Operation Paperclip. The team first worked on ballistic missiles, starting with V-2 rocket derivatives before moving on to a series of ever larger designs. Many of their tests were carried out at White Sands Missile Range, and flights between the two locations were common. In late 1956 the Army was relieved of most of its ballistic missiles in favor of similar weapons operated by the U.S. Air Force. The German design team was then spun off to become part of the newly founded NASA. Redstone served as the primary site for space launch vehicle design into the 1960s. Geography Redstone Arsenal is located at, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, the Redstone CDP has a total area of all land. Redstone Arsenal contains extensive wetland areas associated with the Tennessee River and several local springs, much of which is maintained by the Wheeler National Wildlife Refuge. Pre-1941 a total of 651 prehistoric archaeological sites were recorded on Redstone Arsenal to date. At least 22 have components dating to the Paleo-Indian period. The Paleo-Indian projectile point called the Redstone Point was named after Redstone Arsenal, where it was first identified. Euro-American settlers began to establish homesteads on the land that is now Redstone Arsenal. By the first decade of the 19th century, prior to the Civil War, the landscape was dominated by several large plantations, the remains of which survive as archaeological sites. The land played a peripheral role during the Civil War, with activity limited to the posting of pickets along the Tennessee River Bank. Following the war, many of the large plantations were increasingly divided into smaller parcels owned by small farmers, who included former slaves and their descendants. By the start of the 20th century, many of the farms were owned by absentee owners, with the land being worked by tenants and sharecroppers. The remains of hundreds of tenant and sharecropper houses still dot the landscape around the installation. At the beginning of the 20th century, the approximately area of rolling terrain, which contained some of the richest agricultural land in Madison County, included such small farming communities as Spring Hill, Pond Beat, Mullins Flat, and Union Hill. Although there was no electricity, indoor plumbing, or telephones, few roads, and fewer cars or tractors, the people who lived in the area that one former resident recalled as being nearly out of the world prospered enough to support their own stores, mills, shops, gins, churches, and schools. A total of 46 historic cemeteries including slave cemeteries, plantation family cemeteries, and late 19th 
to early 20th century community cemeteries are maintained on the installation as Redstone Arsenal Cemeteries Huntsville Arsenal As part of the mobilization leading to U.S. involvement in World War II, Huntsville Arsenal was established in 1941 to create a second chemical weapons plant in addition to one in Edgewood, Maryland. Over 550 families were displaced when the Army acquired the land, including over 300 tenants and sharecroppers. Most of the landowners were allowed to salvage their assets and rebuild elsewhere. The remaining buildings were almost all raised by the War Department. A land use agreement was arranged with the Tennessee Valley Authority for the Army to use a bout of land along the Tennessee River. The military installation was originally composed of three separate entities, the Huntsville Arsenal and the Huntsville Depot, which were operated under the auspices of the Chemical Warfare Service, and the Redstone Ordnance Plant, operated by the Army Ordnance Department. The name Redstone drew on the region's red rocks and soil. In its early years, the arsenal produced and stockpiled chemical weapons such as phosgene, lewisite, and mustard gas. The use of toxic gases in warfare was banned under the Geneva Protocol of 1925, but the U.S. signed with the reservation that it be allowed to use chemical weapons against aggressors who used them. The facility also produced carbonyl iron powder, tear gas, and smoke and incendiary devices. The arsenal also produced small pyrotechnic devices including small solid fuel rockets. During the war, in recognition of its production record, the arsenal received the Army Navy e. Award four times, the first on 31 October 1942. The Ordnance Plant was renamed Redstone Arsenal in 1943. Through the war years, more than 27 million items of chemical munitions were produced, and 45,200,000 ammunition shells were loaded. Redstone Army Airfield was established in 1943 for the 6th Army Air Force to test incendiary devices in preparation for the firebombing of Japanese cities. Three days after the announcement of the Japanese surrender, production facilities at the installation were put on standby. After the war, Huntsville Arsenal was briefly used as the primary storage facility for the chemical warfare service and for manufacture of gas masks and dismantling of surplus incendiary bombs. Most of the wartime civilian workforce was furloughed, dropping to 600, from a wartime high of around 4,400. Much of the arsenal land was leased for agriculture, and many of the buildings were leased for local industry. By 1947, the installation was declared to be accessed the first step toward demilitarization. Major political and commercial efforts were made in searching for government or business tenants for the space. In early 1948, several buildings of Huntsville Arsenal were leased by the newly formed Keller Motors Corporation, with the intention of establishing a major automobile manufacturing complex. Only 18 Keller prototype vehicles were built before the firm's president and primary organizer, George Keller suddenly died and the operation folded. The Army Air Forces was searching for a site to establish a major air development center and considered Huntsville Arsenal. In 1949, a competing site near Tullahoma, Tennessee was selected. The Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army then directed that Huntsville Arsenal be advertised for sale by the 1st of July 1949. The proposed sale never happened, because the Army found it needed the land for the new mission of developing and testing rocket systems. Thiokol Corporation moved operations to Redstone Arsenal from Maryland in the summer of 1949 to research and develop rocket propellants, while Rome 
and Haas began work on rockets and jet propulsion. On 30 June 1949, Huntsville Arsenal was deactivated and consolidated with the other two entities to become Redstone Arsenal. Command responsibilities were assumed by Redstone. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.